Hey guys, this is a quick video on the uh, Sunrace 11 to 50 cassette. Um, I'll try to make this quick. I'm not really good at making videos or speaking, so uh, bear with me, please. Um, and there might be a couple bumps along the way. Anyway, I installed this yesterday. Came in from Amazon from, uh, or well, in this box, and just walk through this build I'm working on. I'm hoping to drive or ride this thing across uh, Washington State uh, eventually as soon as it's finished and the weather clears up um, but as you can see um, early on it's kind of looking like this it's a Soma analog designed for a 26 inch wheel probably for suspension as well um, I've got a rigid fork and it's got sliding dropouts that gives me just enough space with 2.2 uh, .2 inch slicks uh, to, to, to make it work. Um, I've got different tires for actually using it, but in the city for test driving, this is just perfect. Anyway, on my same purchase for Amazon, I thought it'd be fun to test out an oval chain ring. I got this uh, cheapy one from um, JG Bikes. Um, it actually looks pretty all right. It's a pretty solid unit, uh, thick aluminum. Doesn't look like it's gonna wear out anytime soon. Uh, but I haven't ridden it enough to tell you whether or not oval's worthwhile. But um, I wanna find out if oval's worthwhile. Anyway, let's get to it. Um, you can see in the dropout, I'm not using a dropout extender. That dropout is uh, stock. Um, uh, the, these old Somas were, I think, intended as a single speed, but uh, ha it came with a dropout so you can put a derailleur on there. And you can see the Apex One 11 speed derailleur. Uh, it fits just fine. They actually, it's a super cool derailleur. Um, uh, the whole SRAM setup, this is my actually second SRAM. Grupo and I, I I really like him. I was pretty sold on Shimano for a long time. They do great stuff too, but this is my second one and I dig it. Anyway, um, they come with these things if you buy them from JG Bike. Uh, they are derailleur extenders. Um, and I've messed with these before and haven't had a ton of luck with them on some other builds. This will be my third Sunrace cassette for Grupos that don't necessarily uh, Work with that big of a cassette, but most of them do so I was willing to take the risk anyway. I didn't find Any information stating anywhere on the internet that this works with this particular um, Grupo so um, I decided just to risk it because I really wanted this range for uh, a bike packing rig. Um, I'm planning to take this thing uh, around the Puget Sound area and the uh, Washington State coast um, for my first trip and then um, if all else, if all goes well, uh, I'll, I'll probably ride this to uh, Milwaukee from Seattle. So um, we'll see. I haven't plotted anything but yet but um, I got a couple months. There's still snow on the ground so Anyway, let's run through the gears. I'll show you how it works. So double taps kind of different for me. I'm a Shimano guy, but uh, you can see it's running through them pretty easy. Um, there might be some adjustments here and there. I haven't even clipped that cable yet. I just put this in the other day. And I noticed um, yesterday um, that I, uh, the cage on this thing actually made contact with the, the highest, or the lowest gear at one point, and that was just some B-screw adjustment knocked that out, so, I mean, we might see that today. I haven't, I haven't tested this or anything yet, uh, more than around the block, but, anyway, that's an Apex One derailleur running through an 11 to 50 cassette 
with basically no adjustment. I, I just threw the thing on there and uh, it worked really well. Some B screw adjustment. You can hear some grinds and stuff and I could probably work that out. And like I say, we're working with a new chain, new uh, cable, new cable housing and stuff. So just some, some stuff to work out. No lube yet really. Uh, but uh, um, I'd be happy to do a second follow-up video after some test runs, but um, yeah, I mean it works. This is rated for a 42 tooth uh, cassette here, and it's functioning pretty okay on a Soma Analog 26er with a 29 wheel set um, without really doing anything. So I don't know if you're if you're like on the fence on getting one of these. Uh, I'd suggest that the risk isn't incredibly great and, and like I said they send you these things so it might be uh, uh, a solution if if this isn't work out for you um, as far as Shimano goes um, I've done some like I say this is my third um, this is my third uh, Sunrace cassette and I also have a uh, um, E13, I don't know if you can see that, whatever, E13 cassette, uh, and this worked with just like a typical made for smaller cassette at one point, and it worked just fine, so like, you, there's a lot of range there, the engineers at the um, Shimano SRAM laboratories are smart, and they're after the best shifting and best customer um, experience, and you saw just here, uh, that there was some clunkiness there, so it's definitely not the best user experience. Or maybe it is, and I'm just not adjusted all the way. But it works, and that's what I wanted. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope that this helps you make some decisions, uh, and uh, at least gives you some more in your toolbox and knowledge for um, whatever the heck you're doing. Alright, thanks a lunch. Bye.